Most times, paladins need to be holy, but other times, they need to be wrathful. Holy Wrath Paladin used to be a deck that I played in the Open Cup systems back when this deck was in standard, and I gotta say, it definitely was a good blast on the pass in order to replay this deck and actually have a pretty decent win rate with this deck. I've been playing it both on stream and a little bit off stream, and I'm a little bit above a 50% win rate. And the main reason why I'm at a 50% win rate is because cards like Mutinous are still kind of new, and people are still finding the, uh, the fun decks that it fits in, and... Unfortunately, this deck's weakness is just disruption, and there's not really a lot you can do about that, but every other aspect of the game, I feel like you have great control over. You have great ways of being able to keep yourself uh, immune, so that way if you need to like stall for a turn, you have plenty of options there. You have plenty of ways of being able to destroy the board, and loads of different cards to heal with. Like, good lord, the amount of healing in this deck is actually kind of, uh, kind of ridiculous. So let's go ahead and break down this deck just a little bit so you can also play Holy Wrath Paladin and win in the Hearthstone Ladder. In order to play this archetype correctly, here's a few tips that you definitely need to follow. One is identifying what your win con is. Do you need to go for combo this game or can your lifesteal outlast your opponent? Like, this deck is very focused on healing like I said earlier, even so much to where it runs Holy Light. Holy Light, just a 2 mana card that just now heals you for 8 thanks to the new changes to the uh, to the, ba to the basic and core system, but uh, the card that really helps out with this is uh, Kangor. Kangor just works with all of your uh, your healing spells, which is for four mana, you can literally heal for 16. Against aggro, that can sometimes make all of the difference because you have plenty of ways of being able to remove the board as well. So just focus on being able to identify your win cons, and if you need to go for healing, outlast your opponent and try to, uh, to spread out your resources and kill the very important boards, not just nitpicking every single little minion that they play. However, when it comes to the combo turns, this is where the deck gets a little bit interesting because there's one of two ways of being able to win with this deck with the combo. One is just with 25 damage, and the other is with 50 damage. And I guess this is the other situation, technically the third way you can win where you can spread over the 50 damage over the course of two turns. But with Reno being in the meta, I would not recommend going about that strategy. You either fight a deck to where you know they can't heal past 25 and you cap them at there, or you just go for the full on OTK of 50 damage. The 25 damage OTK is pretty simple, you don't really need any kind of discounts except for the Shrivala to be discounted well below uh, 5 mana. I think it needs to be at exactly 3 mana so that way you can play Shrivala, play Baleful Banker, and then play your Holy Wrath in order to deal exactly uh, 25 damage if you have no cards in your deck. And that's another thing, you have to draw very very quickly with this deck, it's kind of like a Miracle Paladin deck. Uh, but the other thing to keep in mind is if you want to deal 50 damage, that you have to get an Emperor discount on not only the Holy Wraths, but your uh, Baleful Bankers as well. All those cards being hit will be exactly 10 mana if you have a 0 mana Shrivala to where you can just play the Shrivala, double Baleful Banker, and then double Holy Wrath for exactly 50 damage. So, like I said earlier, identify your win con figure out the best way of being able to reach that potential because there's a lot of different ways of being able to cycle but also sp space out your resources you don't want to run out of healing when you need it you don't want to run out of your pyro qualities when you have a big minion staring you down but most importantly try your best to play around dirty rat and mutanus or mutinous or whatever you want to call it this murloc definitely caused me some pain this morning but trust me when you have a, a deck that you go up against that is not using disruption this is one of the most rewarding, most uh, amazing Hearthstone decks that you can play because it really lets a good player be good at the game. Last but not least, there is Zephyrs in the deck. Zephyrs is mostly just in here because of how consistently you're going to draw out your deck, and sometimes you just need a flex card. Sometimes you're going up against the Kingsbane Rogue and you need to get rid of their weapon just one more time because you ran out of your immune cards and your timeouts. Sometimes you just need a board clear, other times you just need healing against an aggro deck if you've drawn very well throughout the game. But Zephyrs is also another card to where you can just throw it out of your hand if you don't have uh, a better play. So sometimes he's just a 3-2 that's just easy to discard, other times he's a lifesaver. But I hope you guys enjoy this take on Holy Wrath Paladin. Huge shout out to Shadowfrog3 for giving us this deck list and I will say that I was very tempted on changing a few cards to try and like fit in like a Consecration or some other like tech cards, but something that I really really came to notice with this particular build is, especially with like the Holy Lights, is that 
there's a lot of times where you just want to get rid of a card that you're not really looking to play a consecration against the board because you already have pyro into a quality and sometimes that's all you need so i would say if you're looking to change some of the cards in this deck definitely keep in mind that throwing out cards is very important but you also need enough spells in order to discount their shivala to be exactly at zero mana and if you enjoy this blast from the past Shrivala OTK, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to be notified about any other future uploads we happen to come out with. The deck code is down below for anyone who wants to try out the archetype, and if you ever want to catch these clips live, we stream at twitch.tv slash clarkhellscream. I hope you guys enjoyed testing your opponent's metal. We'll see you for the next video. Kangor? Eh, uh, not a good keep. Crystal uh, Crystology is a card. Go for the card draw. Big money, big money, big money, big money, big money. That's mediocre money. I was hoping for like ten dollars, and I got like maybe like two seventeen back. Like keyword two seventeen, so that way you can you know buy yourself two things off of like the dollar menu and still pay taxes. Unless you pay nine cents per dollar, in which case you gotta roll again, buddy. And that's how they get you. One cent away. One cent away from whatever that you want. Also, Thorson, Shrivala, uh, Baleful, Holy Wrath, uh, Zephyr's Lava Burst is an OTK. Ooh. How do you guarantee set up the... Oh, hello. Okay, well, this is Warlock. I don't think I 100% need the full-on, like, OTK. However, any cards you get rid of makes me very uh, upset because you have, like, other cards like, um, uh, like Mutinous and whatnot. Yo, two red gifting a sub to Paradox as well. Welcome, Paradox. Welcome back to the horde. What's this? Uh, how many how many months have you been sub now, Paradox? I guess we'll find out once you make a comment. Well, welcome back, buddy. Guys, can we get some hype? Can we get some hype in chat for uh, for Paradox and all the new subs that we got right now? Okay, novice engineer for sure. I like me some novice. Novice makes me very happy. Fills me with uh, with much delight. You know my previous message? Yeah, we'll only have a uh, Till Bane to Baleful, so you might need it. Well, I have the other one in hand. But at the same time, Warlock keeps itself below 25 HP. I feel like that's not the issue. The issue is the, is the cards getting either pulled from hand or eaten. And I do not like it when my cards get eaten against my will. I don't think this guy would play Colite Oracle, so I'm not going to play around it. Crab, please. Do we need a crab? Oh wait, no. I have. I had. I do have a crab emote. I forgot. I put that in there. Paradox got it. Uh, all Hearthstone style. Fucking random. It's because he plays priest and he knows how to. Uh, he knows how to guide the randomness. You gotta. You gotta know how to make the randomness uh, do what you want it to do and not fall victim to it. And that is, you know, definitely a skill that I have not mastered yet. Imagine healing for 16. Lol. I bet you wish you had that healing, didn't you, Warlock? I'm just drowning in healing over here. How many subs have, uh, have people gifted to me? That's the real question. Looks like three months. Three months worth. Imagine Zephyr stealing this. I don't think I have the capability. It was all... It was skill the entire time. Hmm... I think I just need to focus on playing spells. If I do this in Pyro, I can kill this, but who cares about killing that? I am kind of using up all of my healing, but it's only because like I really don't want to just like, I, mean, I, I could use the quality. This actually just might be the time to throw down the quality because like what else could he, could he throw here? Tigatus isn't coming down yet, so I don't have to worry about like an 8-8. Eight eight. If I play a quality, I can hit this, hit this, hit here, he gets a 1-1. One one. Or maybe gets a... Oh. Wait, I can give him this. No, that's a reason to not do that. I don't want to give him the healing. Giving him the healing is definitely a bad idea. So I'm just going to continue drowning in healing as he suffers to do anything about it. I don't like killing this, but I feel like I have to. Yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna give him the uh, the the Kangor either. I feel like that's just a safe thing. Oh boy, oh shit. 
Okay, okay, we're safe. We're dodging everything we need to. We are literally dodging everything we need to. This is, this is a good step in the right direction. Easy dodge. He can't uh, do anything to, to repeat this, right? Like a Zola or something? Maybe he runs Zola. But I'm nearing the end of my deck. The end of my deck is nigh. I don't like. I don't have Silthoar really. Yeah, I could do Silthoar, but it really doesn't make much sense. Christology is useless. Zephyrs could actually do something funny. Hold on. For four mana, Zephyrs could be could kill these guys and then give them a three-two. I think we just do this and draw. See what we find. Okay, so I could just Pyro Quality then. I'm, dude, I've been avoiding the mut the, mut the mutinous this time, but previously I was not. <laughs> previously I was not avoiding it. <laughs> I was certainly getting destroyed by it. I'm mostly just doing this in order to make the Shrivala cost less, because now we just have to focus on drawing the rest of our deck. I might even just play Solemn Vigil for five mana. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is actually fine. This is literally fine. You're helping me. Guys, you, you want Ticketus to be deleted, but Ticketus literally helped me here. Ticketus literally just helped me here. Like, I don't win yet, but I win in two turns. Oh, wait. He can get the Mutinous. Oh, dude. Hold on a minute. Mutinous is, is what we're scared of. Okay. All right. We, t we play timeout. We play timeout and we and we chill like a good boy. We relax. There's because like unfortunately we couldn't play Holy Wrath. There's one Holy Wrath that we don't get. So as long as he doesn't play Reno, we should be okay. So no Reno and no mutinous from the uh, from the raised dead, and we should win. Because I didn't have enough mana to pop this off. Should have kept. Timeout for uh, in case of Sobatir. Sobatir is fine. I've got two Holy Rats, so that's why Sobatir doesn't matter. I've got two Holy Rats. We lose. We lose to the Reno, and we lose to the uh, the Mutinous. He ate. Oh my God, we got him. We got him because Shrivala kills. <laughs> Shrivala kills the Malganus. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, it's so amazing. What a classic. What a throwback. Get out of here. Literally, Ticketus helped me win this game. Y'all want to delete Ticketus, and y'all not thinking about the ways that it literally can help me. Like, nah. I I'm not. I'm failing to see why Ticketus needs to be deleted from the game. Sorry, you just can't convince me. <laughs> F you neck deckers. Whoa, this guy is angry. This is some alpha energy that I'm feeling from this individual. I guess I just keep card draw. Wait, hold on a minute. Why is Prismatic Lens not in this deck? That's something that just hit me. Why are we not playing Prismatic Lens? Is it for the chance of the Shrivala hitting the, the Holy Wrath? I feel like that might be just me uh, thinking about like old uh, old card inclusions. You say that you don't like lens, you tried it and cut it. I guess I can understand that. I have not played some Holy Wrath Paladin in quite some time. And this guy's actually playing freaking... What? What? <laughs> what is this guy doing? And why didn't he discount this? All right, well, I drew a lot. Coin Wrath and the easy 25 damage. <laughs> oh, there's a Shrivala. Nope, we can't do it. Now we have to draw our entire deck like smart people. Dang it, game. <laughs> Just gonna draw one card. Sure. The biggest thing about this matchup is that he has armor, right? So I have to be able to somehow burst him uh, for 40, or I'm sorry, burst him for 50 over the course of a couple of turns. 
another Christology. Draws Kangar, and I think that's it. Oh, there's another Knight of Anointment. So, coin, play Christology. Oh, her quality is a holy spell? Good to know. Just gonna tempo the Kangor. I don't really have a reason for healing in this matchup. Thorson means that you can deal 50. Oh, wait, that's right. Thorson. Duh. Doi. Duh, duh, doi. I completely forgot about the Thorson interaction. I'm so. Like, I played this deck a lot back when it was a standard deck. And you had to combo fairly. <laughs> You had to you had to hit him with 50 damage over the course of two turns. But yeah, you right, you right, you 100 percent right. I need to hit both Baleful Bankers though, right? Yeah, I need to hit both Baleful Bankers. Corel would actually be pretty decent in this deck, yeah. Could probably cut out like um. Probably, wait, why Why is Holy Light in this deck? I did not notice Holy Light. I would have cut Holy Light immediately. We can cut out a Holy Light for, for yeah, for Corel. What else do we, do we cut out, though? Okay, so here I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do this. Holy Light is so good against aggro? Really? Do you really need that? Is it that consistent, though? Like I um Aside from the, like the Corel, I don't really don't know what else I'd put in its place. This guy's just not playing cards, which is smart. Wait, hold on a minute. Why is Sothrar on the deck if we're playing an OTK deck? What does Uther do? Cariel? Oh, it's Cariel. Okay, okay. Such as Pyromancer. I feel like... I feel like... Uh, I don't feel like we need Sothwar on the deck. Like, why do we need Sothwar? The more I look at this card, the more I don't like it. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that's right. You could go aggro against aggro. Okay, yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's a good point. I don't want- I think I have to play something here. I'm just gonna do it this way. I don't know how to- uh, I don't know how to play Pally, so I don't even know. Uh, I mean, Paladin's really not that difficult. It just depends on the kind of deck you're playing. Like, this is probably a lot more of a complicated Paladin deck because it's a combo deck. So Thor used to be the win con. Okay. Yeah, so it's just a way of outlasting aggro. You have lots of ways of keeping yourself alive. So if you actually have, like, a turn to where you play uh, Shrivala for really cheap, then you can play the Sothwar against aggro. Like, that, that makes sense the more I think about it. Like, this deck pretty much has two win cons. Outheal your opponent... Like in a, like an aggro matchup or combo them. If hand buff is uh, if play hand buff is not hard, hand buffs it has turns where you need to know what you're doing. There's definitely ways of you know maximizing your win rate, but yeah, it's a pretty straightforward deck. Zeph Thorson uh and 50 damage is enough greed, so the rest is just anti aggro. Yeah, I definitely feel rather really comfortable here. Oh, what? I just played both of my equalities. Big warrior. I have to go for like a solemn vigil. I can only cost four. Can afford to take a little bit of damage, but dude, where are my baleful bankers? 
Yeah, we're playing OG OTK Paladin. Unfortunately, I'm just getting a little bit unlucky here. The Shrival is almost zero mana, but I don't have my Baleful Bankers. I'll play for Ragnaros. There's one Baleful Banker. Yeah, this is why Sothwar would be amazing. Cause I can actually like Okay, so yeah, this is what I do. I just get my I just get my Shrivala to zero. Oh wait, Zephyr's into Zephyr's into um Ruin. Ha ha ha! The Zephyr's top deck was actually insane. Goodbye! And then next time I can play timeout. All right, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we're good. That 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 Zephyr's top deck was actually insane. I like how they Hall of Famed uh, Ice Block and then printed out Cloak of Shadows. Cloak of Shadows and Ice Block are nowhere near on the same page. They are nowhere near the same the same problem level. Because Cloak of Shadows, you can at least play Hunter and still win. If I play Solemn Vigil. I don't get anything out of it. So I think I just chill and then I go for the Shrivala, uh, Shrivala play. If I do this, I could overdraw the Baleful Banker. I really don't want to overdraw the Baleful Banker. That's the only thing keeping me from doing this kind of play. If I did something with my Pyromancer, nah, so it'd, it'd still be the same situation. So yeah, we just chill. And then next turn I can play Shrivala, I can do the thing. Yeah, this looks so much better. Colossus, ooh, baby. <laughs> I had some bad news for you on that end. Okay, so let's see the best way. Oh wait, can I just guarantee the combo? Hold on a minute. If I draw Baleful Banker or if I draw Flash of Light, I could just straight up win the game. You can also mass through it, yeah, that's another thing. Cloak doesn't lose to Flare. Uh, I feel like that should. Oh, wait, no, it's minions, not heroes. No, that, that does make sense. I feel like I just go for the safe lethal, but I really want to go for the, uh, for the Omega Lul. Omega Lul Lulthal. <laughs> uh, I, actually, I actually don't have enough mana to make it work. I don't have enough mana to make it work. I just do it this way. Yeah, this is this is definitely a reason to run so far. It's literally situations like this. Cause look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. And now our opponent realizes why we were thinking. It's like if you think about a a, a Hearthstone deck, you actually get a better win rate. <laughs> I find it weird that he's playing Baron Geddon though. Is he gonna run like freaking Nizoth or something? You can't you can't run Nizoth in a in a commencement deck. So that just doesn't work out. So now the only way that he can live is if he somehow makes it to 50 life and kills this. Doesn't look like that's going to be the case. Wow, really? <laughs> Literally, Flash of Light and Belfal Bank are the only cards that I wanted to hit there. So I could maybe throw out the Thorazin. No, there is no way that I had guaranteed lethal. Because I don't have any other draw cards. Like, I mean, I have I have the Solemn Vigil. Yeah, bottom two, Baleful Banker. It's fine, though. Like, how else does this guy beat me? Colite Oracle, I guess? So now Colite Oracle doesn't beat me. I don't need to draw. I don't need to draw right now because I get Flash of Light or I get Baleful Banker guaranteed next turn. And if I hit Flash of Light, then I guarantee get Bulfal Banker, and then I can do uh, Thorson. This guy is not playing Brand Colette Oracle. What now? This guy cannot be playing Brand Colette Oracle. It's Big Warrior. So I, I actually, yeah, mentioning Colette Oracle was just wrong with me. So sorry about that. Sorry about that misdirection. Yeah, it's just that's the only way that we can lose is Brand Colette Oracle. Okay, yeah, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. 
Like, there's nothing he can do here. We actually got our first game with this, and it felt like an old classic Hearthstone match. Control Warrior versus OTK Paladin. OTK Paladin did really well, unless you drew, like, your Dr. Boom or something. Ooh, wait, Bulwark. Oh my god, you're right. Bulwark means that we have to play this game slower. Is this guy roping me now because I roped him that one turn? Dude, can you just get over yourself and just take the loss like a man? Like, this is one thing that really makes me upset about Wild sometimes. Alright. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, I still, don't, I still don't have enough mana. I still don't have enough mana. I need a little bit of damage here. I need a little bit of damage here. But at least I have the combo. I have the combo next turn. And okay, we, we won. We won. There's no there's nothing that this hits to where we don't win the game. Easy peasy. Whew! Classic matchup. <laughs> Whew. Feels good to play a good OTK deck and actually win. Dude, like this is this is such a thought-provoking deck, and I'm so lucky that I played this deck before and I know how to like actually pilot it. But this is one of those decks that feels very, very rewarding to play. I absolutely love Holy Wrath Paladin. Uh yeah, okay, so we just keep the Knight of the Anointment. Usually I don't like keeping the one drops because like Christology, but holy cards are really good. It ate a minion he gave you. Okay, that's why I couldn't figure it out. That's why I couldn't figure it out. I literally couldn't tell what was gone from my hand. Alright. For, de for, ce uh, for celebration, I'll time out Joker. <laughs> the guy who's been sp spamming the most amount of emotes like I want to. Nani, are you playing a Mark deck? Who plays Shattery Figure aside from Mark McKay-Z? Full moon. Okay, well, I sense something a spicy coming. I don't know what it is, but I sense a something spicy. Yeah, can I get a uh, can I get a um, any emote in chat if you guys are having a good time? Because I actually am a big fan of emote spam because it goes on the it goes on the screen. See see how that goes on the screen like that. So feel free to use your channel points. Feel free to spam emotes. Feel free to just have a good time. You know. Uh, I don't want to play, uh, the Blood Mage. I will just go ahead and go for the Tempo. Sure. Go ahead and kill this, because he can heal it. I know she said she refuses to accept money, uh, but I'm still offering to pay her to incentivize her to do it for me. Like you said, new customer base and all of that. Yeah, Libby, you should 100% take some kind of commission for that. I think when it comes to artwork, like... Giving it away for free is nice and all, but you should definitely try to get, I mean, I don't want to like say get something out of it, but it's just, it's just nice for like people to like be able to tip their artists and stuff like that. Like worst case scenario, if you're not giving it away, at least let them give you like a tip or something. Uh, let's see, Blood Mage. Blood Mage into this just doesn't seem the greatest, but at the same time, I'm not winning with Blood Mage. I'm not using the spell damage in any meaningful way. In fact, quick question, why is Blood Mage in this deck when we have, like, only one bit of spell damage, which is literally Holy Wrath? It's not like we're running cards like Consecration. So is this card just literally in here because it's pretty and draws us a card? Give me a sub and I'll spam you emotes? Alright, sure. You wanna, you wanna, you wanna test me like that? You are, since, since you have the balls, since you have the balls, sure. But I'm only giving the one, the one sub today, because you were so generous. Or not, not not generous since you are so brave. No one else is no one else is gonna give give this up for me today. But hold on a minute. Let's see if that went through. Did that go through? Let's see. Yes, tier one. Gift anonymous. Got um, gift anonymously. What the hell? It's like the thing's not popping up. 
Okay, I will figure this out momentarily. No, Shadow Frog. Shadow Frog's the one who asked. Why is this not working? Twitch is like screwing it up. It's like not popping up the thing all the way. Oh my god, I have to go to the tab. Oh my god, hold on a minute. Boomer can't figure out how to gift subs on Twitch. Give me a second, guys. <laughs> you know, I could do a funny play of Pyromancer into timeout just to be like, screw your, uh, your damage. But I don't think I need to do that. I think I just need to focus on drawing. Alright, that's nice. I could do that turn next turn. Alright, now let's see if I can actually properly gift a sub. Do, 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 do. Let's see how long it takes for, for this boomer to figure this out. There we go. Okay. So I figured out my problem. I was trying to I was trying to click it too far down on the chat so it wouldn't pop up the the thing that I needed. But there we go. If one person presses one, I'm perma banning Joker. <laughs> Don't perma ban him. I'll unban him for him. Kick W. I'm on your side, Joker. Don't worry. Even if the mods are uh, even if the mods are against you, the streamer is with you. But there you go, Shadow Frog. Welcome to the horde. Spam those emotes, my friend. Okay. Uh, I kind of wanted to, I mean, the Pyromancer play low key feels like the best thing to do. I can literally just play Christology afterwards, and it's such a funny way of stopping his damage. I, I don't even really need to stop it, but do I do I do it for a, like a, a different occasion? Like, do I literally save it? Like, Pyromancer is just so useful. Christology is in is interesting too. Let's see, Kangor is actually the only card I draw from it. But at the same time, I need to free up stuff in my hand. But I can't play the Solemn Vigil, so that's kind of the issue here. Okay, I like this. I like this. Just go for tempo. If he trades, sure. If he gets greedy, we punish. Easy, my streamer. Easy. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. Yeah, no problem, Shadow Frog. I can throw five bucks your way. I'm not buying food today, so I'll, I can use that five bucks towards something else. <laughs> Sothor is literally a win con against Secret Mage. That is... I don't know how I know about that. Secret Mage tends to kill you pretty quickly. How often do you get the nine mana? You do have a lot of healing. Like, that's a fair point. But, like, aside from that... Memes. <laughs> nice try. Uh, I definitely just draw. Alright. That definitely feels good. Goodbye to your memes, my friend. Zero damage pog. This is why immune is such a broken mechanic. Like, you think immune is just broken in Warlock? Guess again. Turns out, Holy Wrath Paladin's pretty decent. Especially if you play it correctly. I really believe that when I when I uh, misplay with this deck, it makes it like, like you you obviously lose like when you misplay with this deck, but the slight misplay really does you dirty. You really can't misplay with this kind of deck. Like when you when you uh, when you play perfectly, your win rate really shows with this deck. But you really have to think about your options. Okay, so Zephyrus is active. I really don't know what car. Wait, hold on a minute. I could actually pick the four five that steals a, a minion. I think I like that a lot. Like, that just gives me tempo. Yeah, there we go. Cabal Shadow Priest. Sometimes you can just play tempo. <laughs> Clark isn't uh, buying food today, but he's already stocked up on... Yes, I'm definitely... I've still got my Vite Ramen, actually. I've got, like, one packet left. Because uh, I like to cook it with, like, meats and stuff. And I just like like to find the uh, the right occasion. I've been sharing it with people too. I've shared it with my brother. I've shared it with my uh, with my friend. Um, let's see here. Wow. Yo, paradox, what's going on, dude? Isn't this deck a blast from the past? Sivu Wed too. Thank you so much for that follow, man. Good to have you here. Yes, Libby has also had the vegan miso. Absolutely loves it. Uh, let's see here. I just really need to play spells, right? I have like these spells left. So I got Holy Light. I 
These minions really just don't do anything. But they hit me. They hurt me. They hurt me in the face, and I don't appreciate it. Alright, cool. Good start. Is that the paradox? Yes, this is the paradox that does a whole bunch of meta, well, meta snapshots of the open cup meta lineups. And I would definitely suggest uh, checking out his uh, his tweeters for more information there. He's actually a. Uh... What am I supposed to do here? Sorry, I lost my train of thought. This deck requires so much brain power that I really can't. Like, I really can't feel like I focus- I can't focus on Shadow 100% when I play this deck, you know? Like, it feels somewhat simple, but I really don't want to mess up here. At the same time, all I have to do is just de is just deck out. And, yeah, this guy- this guy's dead. What am I thinking? I'm kind of overcomplicating this. So I can play a spell, then play this cheaper, hit more card draw. Okay, that seems like a good idea. Yeah, make the Shrivala nice and cheap. There we go. See, why Why was I overcomplicating this? Maybe I misdid the order. But look at look at how close I am to, to lethal now. This is much better. Omega. Monka Omega, the Paradox. But yeah, Paradox is definitely a, uh, a Hearthstone Titan in the Open Cups. To be feared in the Priest matchup and all other matchups. Sounds about right. Paradox is a celebrity in every game mode. I feel like there's a guy named Paradox in every single community to a degree. Like it's just it's just such a it's just such a good name, you know? Such a good name. Okay, so I actually didn't end up playing all of my spells. Was that was that a moment? Actually, that should have played the quality, right? Be one mana. Nah, I could just do Silthwar. I can still just do Silthwar. We're just we're just gonna we're just gonna bully this guy. This is another thing about Holy Wrath Paladin. You can just bully people very easily. <laughs> but yeah, I can a quality play Shrivala, do the whole do the whole spiel. No. Either <coughs> oh, sorry. Either the Emperor survives and I get another discount, or I can still set up the combo with the Zero Mana Shrivala. Face is definitely the place. Oh wait, this is just lethal. I think I actually might have missed lethal earlier. Hold on a minute. Did I literally just miss lethal earlier because I forgot this just deals 25 damage? Yep. You just get so focused on the OTK sometimes. But two red coming in with a prime for nine months. We now have a child together. Two red. You and I. I hope you and I uh, have a very, very healthy, healthy baby. <laughs>